Now I'll tell you a very interesting thing. This is a 50,000 phone and it scores 9,71,000 roughly on Antutu. And this is a 80,000 phone and it scores less than this phone. Now Antutu is an app which rates overall performance of your phone. CPU, GPU, RAM, storage and more Antutu scores means more powerful device. And listen to this. Both phones are from the same company they have a flagship chip from 2022. So this phone which scores higher has Dimensity 9000 and this has Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Now you would be like, Pratik, shouldn't we get better performance if we pay more money? Well, yes, you should. But the important question is, why is this happening? And more than that, Snapdragon is actually losing the smartphone battle. Well, I'll tell you the reason. This is Pratik and this is TW Explains. Well, first of all, in case you don't know, Snapdragon from the last year had overheating issues in their flagship processor, like Snapdragon 888 in 2021 and now Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And this is with every smartphone released with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. So Qualcomm is literally facing some heat. On the other hand, this year Vivo X80 was the first phone in India to launch with Dimensity 9000, which is MediaTek's first flagship processor for this year. So I was interested to see if the heating issues are resolved by MediaTek because MediaTek has been making claims that Dimensity 9000 is equivalent to an iPhone's performance. So I ran Antutu on both the phones at the same time and this is a very heavy benchmarking app. Like it tests your CPU, GPU, RAM speed and even the storage speed. And have a look at the scores. And the Dimensity 9000 here crossed the 10 lakh mark and it scored some 10 lakh 11,000 roughly. But it is greater than Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 which is like 9 lakh 73,000. And not just that, have a look at the temperature. The Dimensity 9000 is cooler at 39 degrees and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is at 41 degrees. But smartphones are all about having sustained performance. Like you use them entire day. So I didn't let the phones cool down and I ran the N22 test again. And surprise, surprise, Dimensity 9000 still beats Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. It scored 9,92,000, whereas the 8 Gen 1 scored 9,51,000. There is about a 5-10% drop in the previous score. But again, have a look at the temperature. It's almost 44 degrees highest on Dimensity 9000 and it is 46 degrees on Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 highest. So now you'd be like, Pratik, that's only a difference of 2 degrees. Well, Blame Delhi, the temperature outside here is 45-47 degrees. So we are doing this test in an AC environment and as you can see, the surface room temperature is like 28-30, 27-ish degrees. We can't sit in this 45 degree for 3-4 hours. So when the outside temperature or ambient temperature increases, the difference in temperature between the two chips will also increase. Now it was totally unexpected, but it is what it is on the camera. But the point here, if you noticed is, Dimensity 9000 is cooler than Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, about 5 to 6 degrees in both the tests. But before we jump to the conclusion and you would be like, Pradeek, Dimensity 9000 is better than Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Well, two things. Snapdragon has been making processors or SoC for a long time. And two things where Snapdragon is generally better than the competition is number one, graphics or GPU. Number two, camera processing or ISP. Now we'll get to the second point in a moment, which is very interesting, but first a little history to this. See, ARM is the company which licenses SOC or processor to Apple, Qualcomm, Samsung for Exynos and MediaTek. Now companies are free to make changes to this SOC as per their own requirement. So Snapdragon uses their own customized Adreno GPU versus ARM's Mali GPU in Dimensity 9000. So to check that, we ran a 3D Mark benchmark which checks only the graphic performance of both the phones. Now this 3D Wildlife Extreme Stress Test will run multiple videos in loop about 20 times and this is like really heavy graphics. As you can see, you can see the FPS and all. Now finally, in terms of score, you can see the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 clearly beats Dimensity 9000 and there's a healthy difference of 10 to 15% in the scores and it beats the Dimensity 9000 in every loop. But again, the same thing, if you can see, the maximum temperature on Dimensity 9000 is 41 degrees whereas it is 54 degree on Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And we also did another 3D Mark bench test where it is the same story, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 has better graphics but there is 4 to 5 degrees of difference difference in temperature. And surprise, surprise, 
each and every test snapdragon 8 gen 1 turned out to be better than diamond city 9000 well then pratik that leads to no conclusion right right oh yes well the most important thing is how do these benchmarks affect real life usage because companies are famous for cheating in benchmarks so that brings me to the second point camera processing or isp see we have two phones which have the same 2x portrait camera it's very rare that two phones from the same company have a same rare camera sensor but different processor so we can see head on which does a really good job now it's very hard to find a difference like in good daylight condition both images are sharp however i consistently noticed more natural skin tone on vivo x80 pro with snapdragon 8 gen 1 same with the selfie sensor is same same more natural skin tone on vivo x80 pro even look at this indoor light manus photo the vivo x80 pro has more natural and close to real life skin tone now that's interesting same sensor same company different processor and then different skin tone like even I'm confused a bit. But keep in mind, both phones have Vivo V1 Plus chip, which is involved in some video and photo functions like AI highlight plus display frame interpolation. So we are not sure at what height the Vivo V1 Plus chip affects the photo and video. So a grain of salt for that. Now, all of this leads us to the final event, gaming. So we'll be playing BGMI for the next 30 minutes and I'll be using the phone with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And I'll be using Dimensity 9000. Now the game is running pretty smoothly on both the phones. There is initially no frame drops. And now by the end of 15 minutes, if you see, the temperature is somewhere around 30, 32 degrees on both the phones. There might be a difference of half a degree, but that's like two different players using two different phones. Now, just to push the device and make it more hot, we'll now play at HDR graphics and extreme frame rate. And now the devices are starting to heat and I've even faced frame drops a bit here and there on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. So we have played the game for about 30 minutes, 29 seconds. And if you see the maximum temperature on Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is 36 degrees, whereas the maximum temperature on the Dimensity 9000 is uh, 35.5, 35.4, like a difference of half a degree is negligible. Now, of course, we have turned on the AC because you cannot sit in this daily heat for 30 minutes. So the ambient temperature is like around 26, 27 degrees. Now, the deal is, even if Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 performs better than Diamond City 9000, overall, Diamond City 9000 phones will be cheaper. And all of this heat debacle reason is Samsung. Now, in case you don't know, chip producers like Apple, Snapdragon don't manufacture their own chip. It's done mostly by two companies, Samsung and TSMC. Now, this is the entire not confirmed theory. The last Snapdragon 888 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 was made by Samsung. Whereas the Diamond City 9000 is made by TSMC. But now, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which is a successor of Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, horrible name by the way, is going to be manufactured by TSMC. Now, if heating issues are resolved in that chip, well, we'll have a clear answer. But if not, then Qualcomm has to do some thinking because all this chip shortage and COVID situation has brought MediaTek really up. MediaTek is beating everyone. As per this report, around 51% of Android phones in the US are MediaTek chips. And as per latest counterpoint research, MediaTek is the top selling chip vendor for smartphone in the world. Now, this is interesting. And it seems like the same Intel versus AMD battle. Intel was the laptop PC king for a very long time until AMD showed up and we know the results. And of course, every smartphone manufacturer takes the processor and modifies it as per their requirements. But this MediaTek winning the battle, 9000 winning the battle, what does it mean to you? So as more Diamond City 9000 phones come, we'll have more clarity on this. But as of now, 9000 is the winning number. And if things go this way, more manufacturers will include MediaTek processors in the phone and as you see in this case, you get 30,000 cheaper price and the same flagship performance. Now, of course, the camera specs is way better on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 phone. But in 2022, where flagship phones are touching 80,000, 1 lakh, we'll have more MediaTek flagships offering more performance for the money. On that note, this is Pratik signing off. See you pretty soon. Pew, pew.